Okay, sleepy head. Hey. What's the time? 11.30. Why don't you wake me up? I'm late for the gym now and a whole day is wasted. Well, you can still save the day if you hurry up. You are Batman, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So get up. Get okay. up. Get up. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Can you log the weight? Sure. What is it? It's the same as the past two weeks. No change. Hey guys, so I completed three months of my diet and in this video I'll share my experience, what worked and what did not. But first let me get a workout in because I am running late. So I'll quickly do my morning routine and then take you guys along. By the way, today is chest and shoulders, so that's always fun, right? Let's go. Good thing I always keep my gym bag ready the night before, including the outfit. All I have to do is fill up my water bottle and I'm good to go. Okay, so for the first month, I actually made a mistake by going too low on my calories. I was at 1600, which was my mistake. I even documented it. I have a video on my channel of full day of eating. I think it was extreme I did lose like 3 kgs that month but my sleep took a toll I couldn't sleep I would wake up after 3 hours sometimes sometimes 4 you know so I definitely don't recommend that to anybody going too low on their calories. I'm at the gym, I'm just gonna warm up and continue the talk. Of course, there's loud music at the gym, so I'll have to switch to voiceover. Anyways, so I was saying that I went too low on my calories, which is quite understandable for a beginner, you know, you just want to get rid of your fat as quick as possible. But going too low on your calories will definitely affect few things like my sleep took a toll, it could affect your hormones and stuff like that. So 
definitely don't make the same mistake as I did. Find your maintenance calories and reduce by maximum 400. Trust me, that's all you need. So currently my maintenance calories are 2200. So my deficit should be from 1800 to 2100. So for the second month, that's exactly what I did. I switched my calorie intake to 1800 and I continued to lose weight for my second month. I lost like two kgs approximately for my second month. So first month was three and second month was two. And that was the plan from the beginning. I only wanted to lose two kgs per month, more than that. and. I could lose whatever muscle mass that I have. I believe 2 kgs is the sweet spot. I did try to take progress photos in my first month but I didn't like what I saw so it was a little demotivating so I stopped doing that but it was end of second month that I saw a lot of progress. I started seeing my veins. I also started getting better sleep. So I was pretty happy. Now, when I go home, I will show you guys my progress and tell you all about the third month. For now, enjoy the rest of the session. So after my weight training, I just do a steady state cardio 
for like 20 to 30 minutes. I just put on a TV show or something to pass the time. Okay, now let me tell you about my third month. I increased my calories again. So I was consuming around 2000 calories. And guess what? I continued to lose weight. That told me going 1600 was a huge mistake and it doesn't make sense going too low on your calories when you can lose weight with eating more. Yes, I know I was more active than my first month. I was like uh, completing 10,000 steps. Everything was going great. I was losing weight. One and a half kgs I already lost by mid of third month. But then it was my birthday on 18th May. So guess what? I did cheat meals. Of course I did. It was my birthday and I'm not a psycho, right? But doing cheat meal on that day woke a demon inside of me that craves sweet and junk food. It was so hard to shut that demon inside of me when I started dieting. But my motivation wasn't high at that time because I wanted to lose weight, right? So here's what I did. I thought to myself that it's okay to have cheat meals once a week. And that's what I did. I had butter chicken, I had KFC, I had pizza once a week, every Sunday, you know. So I even skipped lunch on one of those days, you know. So even though I skipped one meal throughout the day and I did it only once a week, guess what? I was not losing weight anymore. My weight is constantly averaging between uh, 74.7 to 75. So this tells us that cheat meals hinder your goal to lose weight, period. You just can't track every single ingredient that goes in to the meal that you're having if you're cheating my goal was to reach 72 kgs by end of june but i don't think that's gonna happen because i'm already in the second week of june and i can't reach 72 maybe 73 and a half at max but that's okay i'm gonna do a body fat percentage check in a bit so i'll share that with you guys this is my fourth month of dieting i wanted to take a break after four months but i don't know if i should now because technically i did by doing cheat meals and yeah i think i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna continue to diet up until i go to 71 now because i just took a break i guess i'm gonna continue to diet down to 71 kgs and then I'll start my bulk maybe I want to bounce between 15 to 20 percent body fat so if I'm guessing right I am around 18 percent body fat now I'll check I'll just check Interesting. So according to three side skin full method My body fat percentage is 19.7 Remember when I said that I want to bounce between 15 and 20 I'm at the end still before I can bulk Okay let me show you guys what I look like at 20% body fat, okay?
So this is where I'm at on my road to six pack abs at 20% body fat after three months of dieting. It seems like the road is long, but I'm gonna get it. What I learned from dieting for three months is cheat meals don't work. So I'm definitely not gonna cheat now, you know, only clean foods. Mm. This, this is not a cake, um, this is protein cake that I made. It's amazing. The demon is out, so I don't know. I have to find ways to suppress its cravings, you know. If, if you want the recipe to this, all you have to do is comment. You know, even if I get one comment asking for recipe, guess what? I'll give it to you guys, okay? To support me in this journey of Road to Six Pack Abs, all you guys have to do is subscribe and like for the YouTube algorithm gods. Yeah? I'll see you in the next one, okay? Wanna get